This might be the greatest looking game monitor that money can buy. Recently at CES, I got to take a look at this, the LG Ultra Gear 45 GR95 QE. So when LG kindly offered to sponsor an entire gaming setup around this display, and maybe more than just this one, I could not say no. Wait till, I just, I need to open this. To give you an idea of the size of the monitor, this is the stand. This is bigger than most monitors already. It's like a Gundam. <laughs> Where's John? <laughs> Look at him. All right, all right. Oh, yep. Jesus. Wow. Oh my goodness. Bro, look how thin that is. So uh, let me set it down here. You might notice a little something. You could have picked a better angle that was, for me, buddy. That was, uh... <laughs> you know, you can walk around with the camera anywhere. All right, so we do have the external power brick which I actually understand. I usually don't like it when there's an external power brick for a display, but if you come around to the back, there's not a lot of extra space back here. Now you do have a couple of additional features. You have a couple of HDMI's, you have DisplayPort, optical audio. You also do have a DTS headphone jack, which is oh, interesting. So it's actually mounted right on the bottom. So Perfect. it's easy for you to, yeah, to plug directly in. This, my friends, is absolutely ridiculous. Look how bright that is. I'm gonna turn that brightness down. So that's 100%. I'm gonna just turn it to like where I would like to use it. Yeah, the contrast on this is so good. I just noticed you have Windows 10 on this machine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's fine. I'm just running it on a laptop back here just to make the display work. What you're getting here is, in my opinion, one of the absolute best gaming monitors that you could possibly buy. But that's not enough. Oh no. Because we have very good friends over at LG. And when I said, hey, I'd love to do a video on your new Ultra Gear 45 monitor. They go, sure, let's do it. And then I'm like, well, I'll go a little extreme. Matt, if you'd be so kind. They sent over not one, not two, but three of the LG Ultra Gear 45 displays. Who needs 4K? Who needs 8K? When we put three of these together, it is going to be over 10,000 pixels wide. And you put the curves of all these three, it's gonna be probably more than 180. So if you're sitting in the middle of it, you'll be entirely surrounded by monitor. Unless you need pixels behind your head, but, well, we need two more of these to make a full circle? No, we're not doing it, Matt, we're not doing it. We're not doing it, no, I'll, no, I'll no. Him. I'll call him right now. Before we actually build this setup and see if A, our computer can actually push 10K of resolution and B, if it actually is remotely usable anywhere close to the 240 frames per second that these monitors can handle, we actually need to figure out how we're going to mount them. That one's, that one's heavy. This one is a little heavier. So this is meant much more so for like simulator rigs, but importantly, it is one of the only actual monitor mounts that can handle not only the weight of these monitors, which actually is really not bad, but the width, because we're trying to put three of these together. And if we do it right, they should all be pretty much perfectly aligned. Yeah, hopefully this setup's uh, well-rounded. You know, we should have to circle back on that one later. You guys are really ahead of the curve on these puns. I don't like this angle. Life Synergy scared. right there. So, we're making progress. So we've got the mounts, I would say 20% assembled. All the exciting stuff is gonna be all the stuff on the floor here to actually make it work. The only downside to such an extreme curve is that I don't wanna set it down because I'm afraid, <laughs> which means that everyone's gonna have to get nice and close to help me screw it in. <laughs> I will say though, for how big this monitor is, it is incredibly lightweight, which is very helpful. The fact that you can actually easily pick these things up is like low key a big deal. Yeah, you're not lined up at all. Oh, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. If we, if you would just set this on the floor. I'm not scratching the Ultra Gear 45. No, you're not gonna scratch it on the floor. It's, it's, curved. it's curved. If this scratches, I'll take it out of Kinsey's paycheck. No. <laughs> Full send. See? There. Done. <laughs> don't try this at home. You're not supposed to do this. No. Nope. Let's hurry up so we don't have to look at this anymore. This is this is not good. Look how fast this is going. Yeah, I want to put the monitor back up. Yeah, yeah. So, the astute among you may notice uh, some creative modifications to our mounting mechanism because we're going to be mounting this upside down. Because of how big, not the monitor, but the brackets are, it was interfering with the way things, I'm gonna let him struggle for a second. I can't see, you literally have to guide me. Like the further into the build he gets, the less Austin cares about holding the things. And I just hope that that's not the same for children. <laughs> I always carry him very, he can he walk now, I don't care him He carries him by the legs. 
this used to be up here and was blocking our display port and we want to get the most frame rate possible out of this yeah. monitor. And it's one of the cool things of what LG has done is that the bezels are very clean. Yeah. So there's no logo or anything to really suggest yeah. that it's upside down. Yeah, if there was a logo, we would not be doing this. What I'm tweaking here is the pitch and yaw. Yaw! Pitch yaw, and yaw! Yaw trick yaw. Soldier boy. Ah, oh, trick ya! Woo! Matt, look at that. That's literally touching. I thought this was gonna take like hours to tweak. You almost got it like perfectly locked. I did math on this. Behold, my friends, we have built the most absolutely outrageous looking display setup we've ever had for a video. Let me hit you with some specs. This is 118 inches wide. You've got yourself a ridiculous 10K resolution. I can literally barely touch both corners. And on top of that, when you sit in the middle of these displays, it goes more than 180. AKA, if I'm looking straight ahead, I cannot see the edges of the monitors. It's almost as if it's a VR headset, except made entirely out of beautiful 240 hertz OLEDs. Thanks, LG. Now, as you might expect, a 10K display at 240 hertz requires some real GPU horsepower. Initially, we tried using this with an RTX 4090. Now, before I get into why it didn't work, let me just be very clear. What we are doing here is ridiculous. Ridiculous. I mean, ridiculous. Look it up, it's a word in the dictionary. Essentially what happened was, with the RTX 4090, we could get two of the monitors to work, but the third monitor would never work at the same time until we turned off the DisplayPort 1.4 DSC on the monitors which did allow all three of them to actually function, but only at a mere 144 hertz. <laughs> so then we turned to our friends over at Team Red and loaded up our PC with a Radeon 7900 XTX. One of the main advantages of this card over the current NVIDIA 40 series cards is the actual bandwidth of the display outs. With this, we are able to push 10K resolution at the full 240 hertz. All right, so first order of business, let's set this up as an iFinity display. So right now, we've got ourselves three 3440 by 1440p displays showing up here in Windows settings. But to do this properly, I'm gonna actually open up the AMD settings. Are we good? Let me see, here's the test. Yeah, oh. yep. Everyone ready to see the, the channel in full resolution? <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow, that is ridiculous. So here's the thing. Do I want to find the pause button? It's over here. The pause button's here. If I want to change the resolution, I gotta come over here. <laughs> I don't think it'll work, but I mean, you gotta try, right? <gasps> oh, good lord. <laughs> oh, SeaWorld Crack. Oh, I love Kraken. What a good coaster. Also, 4K is not enough for this, is it? No, you would need 10K. <laughs> you know your setup is high resolution? When a 4K video doesn't even come close to having enough resolution to actually look good. Let's try Red Dead 2. Okay. <laughs> wow. Also, it's crazy looking at it from the side. So looking at it from the side, it like stretches down to the main display where it becomes much more normal. This is like ridiculously immersive. Like I can just kind of forget that the two monitors are beside me. I don't need to move my stick left and right. I can just move my head around and see everything around me. Now, obviously not all games are going to support 30, wait, what is it, 60, 63 by nine aspect ratio? 63 by nine aspect ratio. Now, one of the issues with gaming at 10K is the frame rate. Now, obviously these monitors are capable of 240 FPS, but even with a 7900 XTX, the most powerful car we can get to actually properly run all three displays, I'm running at about 100 FPS in Red Dead, which to be fair, 100 FPS is still incredibly smooth. I'll try a racing game. I feel like a racing game will actually be like legitimately ridiculous. Right, options. Video 10K, let's go baby. Let's turn on FSR. When we're pushing this many pixels at this kind of frame rate, I want all the help I can get. I'm gonna do an ACR Viper. Though it's funny, it kind of goes into the side a little bit. Oh yeah, actually you're right, yeah. It almost looks mildly broken, cause yeah, it goes a little bit off the, the screen. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, this is wild. 
I'm like gonna get like dizzy. This is, wait, let's go inside. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Like we're just gonna keep this set up in the office forever. Bro, look how fast this looks. And we're running at a smooth 140 frames per second right now. In fact, I actually think Forza might be limiting me because it's not going above 140, 145, 150. Like obviously looking at one of these displays looks incredibly impressive, but three of them on one system? This looks insane even from here. <laughs> It's like you're wearing the biggest VR headset ever. I'm not gonna be able to top this. This is this might be the most insane gaming experience of my entire life. Come experience the 10K Ultra. Dude, oh, that's so my cool. God. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Bro! Landed it. The thing about Cyberpunk is that obviously one of the allures of the game is the world that you're in. So I'm very curious to see the level of immersion we're going to get with this insane monitor setup in something like Cyberpunk and its ridiculous world. Oh, <laughs> whoa! Okay, well looking up is a little trippy. Oh my... You weren't kidding about this being probably the best gaming experience. Shoot that guy. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that, 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 that was a bad idea. I love oh, that. Josh is oh, blatantly oh murdering <laughs> civilians. He immediately goes into a blood rage. Yeah, wow. And if, if you're looking straight here, which is great, you, know, I, you have the peripheral. If you're like driving, I'm sure this would be great, but like, I can't. Wait, we gotta move the mini map. Honestly, I like this. Except for I might get whiplash. Where's Keon? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. oh, Jesus. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> so, uh, massive props to Kenzie for doing almost all the legwork and actually getting this thing set up. A big reason why this setup is even possible is the 800R curve of the Ultra Gear 45. Most curve monitors on the market are 1200R or 1000R, but the 800R is such a tight radius, it means that even with one of these displays, it's immersive. You've got that 21 by 9 aspect ratio, and once you get in there, it's tight, it's cool, it's great, but three of them? Do you see what I'm seeing right now? This is not a clickbait thumbnail. This is a real setup we've got right here. And you can check out the LG Ultra Gear 45 for yourself at the link in the description. I'm just literally gonna go play this all day. I'm, I'm not, I'm not joking. We're gonna finish the video, we're gonna get a bunch of great footage, and then I'm gonna stay here.